the little the little ridge is uh, Renault Four CV, obviously. It was a car built uh, during the end of the Second War, and uh, this car have a great Le Mans history. Basically, I think it used to race in Le Mans in between 48 to 52 or something like this. Uh, this one did Le Mans in 49, um, and yeah, I mean it's. Uh, a uh, real race car, they won Le Mans in, uh, in class, uh, I think in 49 or so, uh, which is quite special because you don't expect this kind of car at Le Mans and now it's difficult to imagine this kind of car at Le Mans. The average lap uh, speed was 100 km or something like this, 35 km or something like this. Uh, it's quite a small engine, it's like 90 horsepower. Back in the time it was a bit less, uh, Renault engine, four stroke. It's uh, super reactive, so as soon as you're putting a little bit of steering, the rear is coming directly. And uh, no, it's just super funny. Uh, a bit soft, uh, sliding a bit everywhere. Not precise at all with a big steering, but yeah, lots of fun. So yeah, the door already is quite interesting. Uh, and there, yeah, basically there is the ignition there, switch, here it's to turn on the lights, which is quite special. And the gears, it's four gears, uh, nothing else really special. You can feel the, maybe the pedals, which are quite uh, nice. Yeah, then you have uh, all the temperature there, etc., like the raves. Uh, and that's it, pretty much it. When I came onto the track yesterday, it was uh, really the first time I drove the car, so I didn't know what to expect. Uh, basically, it's a low powerful uh, engine, so missing, missing quite some uh, power. But uh, no, the, the, the feeling on the wheel is super interesting because, as I say, it's super uh, oversteering in entry, uh, sliding all the way around the, the fast corners. Uh, it's funny because I was discussing with a friend which drive a McLaren M1B, so the complete opposite of this car, and he was asking me where do we break turn one. I said, I don't break at all there. And he was so surprised because with his car that is coming miles uh, quicker than me, he, he had to break quite early, you know. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much flat out everywhere, but it's good fun.